Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you how to open up your NAT type and keep it open. This was an issue for me and an issue for enough people for me to make this video. So what I'm going to do is show you how to address reserve your Xbox and PlayStation and then open up the essential ports to achieve an open NAT type. First thing we do is log into our router. And to do that, open the browser of your choice and then go to your router's website to do the login. For my router, I have a Netgear router. So the router's website is routerlogin.net. You hit enter and then it's going to prompt you for a username and password once you get to your router login's website. Uh, for Netgear, the default is admin, password is password. And for your router, if it's different, most of these routers on the back or side have the information of the website, the username, and the password if it's your first time logging in. After you get logged into the router for Netgear, first thing we will do is reserve an IP address for our Xbox or our PlayStation. So to do that, we go to the Advanced tab, we go to Setup, and we go to LAN Setup. And under LAN Setup, you're going to see Address Reservation down here in the bottom. So as you can see, I have my Xbox and my desktop, both address reserved, so their IP addresses are essentially static the whole time. So to add the device of your choice, we're gonna hit Add. And once that loads up, you're gonna get this table of devices that are currently connected to your router. So on this list, you just find what device you want. Uh, for this one, I'll add my laptop that's in my bedroom. So you just click the little dot over here. It populates everything down here that you need. And then once that's done, you hit add. That's simple as that. So now every time you restart your router or your internet goes out and it reboots, these devices you have on this list will be that IP address every single time, no matter what. So that's the main step. Hit apply. It's gonna update the settings. Sometimes this takes a moment. Once that's done updating, we'll resume. So once that's done updating, your router might restart, might kick off your internet for a second, but once it's done updating, which you can see on your screen, everything will refresh and you'll be able to get back in. Just refresh the page, might have to log back in, and then we can continue. So next we will do the port forwarding. So for that, we're gonna go to the advanced tab. Now on the left, we click advanced setup. And from there, You'll see all these other options. We want to click on port forwarding and port triggering. And as you can see, I have my ports already added for my Modern Warfare Warzone. And I will show you how to do that again. You can do this for any game as well. So what we'll do is add a custom service. And once we're in here, you're going to want to name it. We'll just name it Modern Warfare Ports. And then let's do the TCP port first. To find out these ports, there's a website you can use that I've been using for a while. It's portforward.com. And you get this home screen, and right here, Warzone is on the home screen. If it's not on the home screen, you can search it, and the game will pop up. They have Overwatch, Fortnite, as you can see, and PUBG's probably on here as well. So we'll click on Warzone, and we'll go down to ports required for Call of Duty Warzone. We're doing this for Xbox, but if you're doing this for PlayStation or your PC, the ports are all listed here as well. So what we'll do is TCP, the only port they have is 3074. For the TCP port, I actually like to add 3074 and 3075, which is on the UDP ports. I just always done it, never seems to hurt anything. So what we'll do is, in the external port range, we type in 3074 and it will do a dash 3075. So basically those two ports are going to be activated for this and let's select our device. So we will do the Xbox. And the reason the name isn't coming up is because my Xbox is turned off right now, but if I turn it on next time we do this, it'll show up. So you click on that and then once you're done, you hit apply and it will save and then it'll take you back to this screen and it'll say that is on there. 
Next we'll add the UDP ports, which is the exact same process. You add custom service, you name it, whatever you'd like. Drop down, you select UDP. And then external port range, you go back to port forward. And you have all these right here. You can just copy and paste. And simple as that, it populates everything for you. Then you just gotta select your device. We'll do Xbox again. Well, my Xbox IP address not showing up again. And then you just hit apply. I already have them on here, which you can see this is what your screen should look like when you're done. And then once that's done, you just have to reset your router, reboot it, reboot your Xbox as well, and let everything sync together. And then after that, you should have an open NAT type on whatever game you just programmed. So for mine was Modern Warfare. So we will go to our Xbox, we will open up Modern Warfare. And let it take its time as it always does. All right. So from here you can just hit start options and you can tab over to account. And right down here on the bottom right, you will see NAT type and it should say open. And if it says open, you did everything correctly. If not, just go back and make sure all your ports are still correct and your IP address is still the correct one. And you're done. It's basically all there is to it. It's not too hard. If you're not good at computers, you can still figure it out. Just follow the steps and you're good to go. It's going to help with your connection. So you're lagging. Let's say you can't talk to people in the game or the party. You open these ports up. Everything should be good to go. You should have no problems connecting. You might still get some server lag, but that's nothing that we can do but you can stop all the light coming from your end if you're disconnected from games this will help that which was my problem so everything should be good to go after that and if you know this video helped you out if you needed it you know like subscribe comment if you have any questions or anything else you'd like help with i'm more than happy to reply to you and help you with anything you need thank you